What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys about NG content, AKA content projection. Now content projection is just a, I gotta be honest. It's just a fairly pretentious way to describe <laughs> what it's doing. It's really not that complicated at all. And I'm just going to kind of show you visually what is happening in content projection in case you don't know so you have a component um, we just have a random detail component when you pass strings um, html elements other components in between here and here whenever you pass them in between here it will be inputted onto the other side of this component or uh, Pokemon detail. It will be inputted here in ng content. That's all that's happening. So if you have Pikachu right here, it will just render it over here. Um, if you have an HTML element, the reason why people make a big deal about it, uh, make such a big deal uh, of it, about it, whatever, <laughs> is because you're rendering the actual HTML as opposed to just passing it through input. If you just have a regular um, input uh, decorator, and I talked to, if you don't know what an input decorator is, it's basically that, but you can just put whatever you want to in it, and it makes it super handy. Um, this is single slot in um, content projection. Now, multi-content content, content uh, content projection, very, once again, very pretentious. Uh, but the only thing that distinguishes it is this select um, attribute right here. So whenever you want to filter it or whenever you want to select which NG content you want to display on a web page, you put an H1 here or you put the name of the component there and it will render the H1 to the H1 where the N H1 ng content is. And for instance, if we if this was an H3, it would render it here. And if we had varying different ones, it would put them where we designate them. So, okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in and code a very quick example so that you guys can see how this works. So. Let's go into our component and what we're going to do is we're going to put in an ng content and ng content is where, where the actual words are going to show up. So just imagine that this ng content is going to disappear and our actual HTML is going to appear right here. And also let's go ahead, let's put a, we are going to make sure that it only selects the H1s that we pass into it. So let's go pass some data into the actual list. So right here in between the um, brackets for this Pokemon detail is where we're going to put um, an H1 tag and we're going to say, let's just put some hyphens here so that it gives it some spacing. <laughs> Not the best design, but we are Angular programmers. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and restart this and we're going to see if this works. And if it does, we will have a nice little hyphen in between each one of our Pokemon to denote where the actual iterable begins and ends. And if you look there, we have some nice little lines to separate everything out. And we got to practice NG content. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.